So my name's Kyle Maru. I'm the manager of aquatic maintenance for the YMC of San Diego County. Uh, we have 16 branches with 32 bodies of water. So before DigiAquatics, we would manage our staff schedule by using Excel and we would do checklists by paper. We noticed that our paper checklists would only be checked off maybe once or twice a week. They were not completing the checklist. Uh, our schedule would also take about a week to two weeks before we could even get it out. Uh, so it was very time consuming. Uh, with DigiAquatics, we've noticed an increase in our checklist uh, being completed, 100%, uh, and our scheduling is a lot easier to cut down our time a lot. So the way the patron counts work in DigiAquatics is we were able to click on what bodies of water we wanted to see how many people are at, and we just uh, click on it and put it in. Um, it's very easy, very simple, and what we're excited about for the future, we don't have enough data yet because uh, we're still new to DigiAquatics, but we're excited to see when our trends are of uh, people at different bodies of water. Uh, how many people are doing open swim versus lap swim, uh, things like that. And what's great about DigiAquatics is you can separate all that out. So uh, by using a schedule module uh, for our staff, it's really helped that the staff can go in and put in their availability uh, versus us tracking them down and putting it on a piece of paper and then keeping track of that paper in a binder. Uh, it's really nice that they can do it on their own. They can do it either at home or they can do it on their phone uh, and put in their availability for their schedule. So what's great about using the maintenance module is that the staff can go in if there's ever a maintenance issue uh, and they can put it in and they can rate it, whether it's low, medium, or high. Uh, and then I can go in as a admin and I can set parameters around what I need to get notified for. Uh, so if I want to get notified for a high, uh, it'll actually come as a text message or an email to me and then I can see what's going on. Is it immediate? Do I need to go in right away and fix it? Or is it something that I can maybe take care of the next day? So my favorite thing about DigiAquatics is uh, I can be either sitting at home, someone can call me up and say, hey, we have an issue with the pool, with our chems. Um, instead of me having them take the time and checking the chems or taking a picture of the chemical record, I can just pull up DigiAquatics, look exactly what they put in as the, for the chemicals, and I can do my calculations and know the answer, go pick up the chems, and then take care of that situation myself. So from a legal and risk management perspective of using DigiAquatics and having our logs, uh, everything is time stamped. Um, we are able to check to make sure that our chemicals were checked at a certain time, uh, on a certain day. Uh, looking back, we have forever. You can pull it from 10 years ago, 20 years ago, longer than that. What my staff think about DigiAquatics, uh, at first they were tentative, uh, but as soon as they got on board and I helped coach them and and uh, let them know a little bit about what the effects that DigiAquatics could be in the future and what the benefits uh, it could be. Uh, they kind of went all in. Um, they really made sure that we were doing what we were supposed to be doing with DigiAquatics. They were always asking about it and trying to find ways that we could use it to better assist us and uh, make our branch better. So when we first decided to use DigiAquatics in our association, we decided to do a pilot. So we got the app, uh, set up and we ran with it for about three months. Uh, then we took it to our uh, operation team for our association and let them know uh, exactly what it was going to be like moving forward. If another branch or another organization wanted to use Digital Aquatics, I would tell them that it's going to take time um, at first, but it would definitely be worth it. You have to take the time, uh, get all your checklists together, your staffing in the right format, but once you have done that, once it's been implemented, it will save you a lot of time, uh, possibly money, it will save you a lot of headache. So with the time that we're saving using DigiAquatics, uh, we are able to uh, meet more members, we're able to help out our program, grow our program, get more into the community, and do what we love.